For this build, you will need three 24 inch pieces of one inch PVC, two 20 inch pieces of one inch PVC, four seven inch pieces of one inch PVC, two four inch pieces of one inch PVC. You will need two of these eight inch pieces of half inch PVC, four one inch 90 degree angles, four one inch T's, one one inch cross, two half inch tees, one snap tee, which will depend on the width of the neck of your baseball bat, about four feet of TheraBand, about six feet of rope, and the bat of your choice. You'll also need a PVC pipe cutting tool, measuring tape, permanent marker, some sort of tape, scissors, and a small piece of scrap PVC for the handle. To build the base, you'll need the following pieces, two 24 inch pieces, four seven inch pieces, two one inch tees, and four one inch 90 degree angles. First, you're going to take one of the one inch tees and attach two of the seven inch pieces into each side of the tee. You'll repeat this step again with the second tee. Next, take two of your one inch 90 degree angles and attach them to each end of your 24 inch PVC pieces. You'll repeat this again for the second 24 inch piece of PVC. Yeah. Attach the open ends of the seven inch pieces into the open ends of the 90 degree angles to form a base structure. Let's see. Your base should look like this when it's completed. You can then set that aside. To build the top of the structure, you'll need two 20 inch pieces, one 24 inch piece, two 4 inch pieces, two 1 inch tees and one one inch cross. First, you're going to take the two tees and attach them to each end of the 24 inch piece. Next, take one of your four inch pieces and insert it into one end of a T. Take your other four inch piece and insert it into the other T making sure they are both inserted on the same side of the T. This is what that piece should look like. Next, you'll take your cross and attach it to one end of one of the four inch pieces so that it looks like this. Grab the two 20 inch pieces and insert each piece into the other ends of the T's. You should now have a piece that looks like this. Grab the base of your structure and attach the open ends of the 20 inch pieces into the open tees on the base that you already built. Hmm, let's see. The top and base of your structure put together should look like this. To assemble the bat, you'll need your bat, one snap tee, one eight inch piece of half inch PVC, your TheraBand, and some sort of tape. First, we're going to attach the split side of your snap tee to the neck of your bat. You wanna get it as close to the head of the bat as you can. You may need to add some extra tape like I did to the handle to make sure your snap tee fits better. You can also tape around your snap tee to secure it. Take your 8 inch piece of half inch PVC and attach some tape to the end of it. You will need enough tape to create a secure fit in the opened end of your snap tee. Attach the taped end of the 8 inch piece into the open end of the snap tee. Yeah. 
Once you have this piece on, you're going to insert the opened end of your batting structure into the opened end of the four inch piece of PVC on your structure. Make sure it can swing freely. Your structure should now look like this with the bat attached. Next, grab your TheraBand. At the end of the bat handle, take one end of your TheraBand and tie several tight knots to secure it onto the handle. Pull the TheraBand tight. Make sure the band is all on the same side of the structure. Wrap the other end of the TheraBand below the T two times or so, and then tie knots to secure it in place. Make sure you don't pull your band too tightly that it snaps. Hmm, let's see. This is what your structure will look like now with the TheraBand attached. Next, you'll need your one eight inch piece of half inch PVC and your two half inch T's. Take one of the T's and attach it to the end of your eight inch piece of PVC. Slide the opened end of that piece through the opened end of the one inch cross. Take the other T and attach it to the other side of the eight inch piece so that it is perpendicular to the other half inch T. This is what it will look like once you have attached your release mechanism. For your handle, you'll need your rope and a small piece of PVC. Take one end of your rope and tie a figure eight knot or a very tight knot with a loop at the end. Make sure the loop of your knot is large enough that the PVC handle can fit through the loop. For the handle, you can either make a handle by drilling a hole into the PVC and attaching the rope that way, or you can slide the rope through the PVC piece and knot it on the other side of the rope. You should now have a handle attached and a knot at the other end of the rope. Take the knotted end of your rope and slide it through the horizontal half inch T on the outside of your release mechanism. Slide the PVC handle through the loop of your knot, securing your rope to the release mechanism. And that's it. You should now have a completed structure. To use the device, pull the head of the bat back towards the release mechanism. Make sure the bat is in between the TheraBand and the release mechanism. Slide out the perpendicular T to secure the bat in place. You would then give the handle to the student so that they can pull the rope to release the bat. An adult may need to keep a foot on the structure or place some weights on it to ensure it doesn't move too much. And there you go, you're all done. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Uh -huh.